Hello my fellow craft lovers and welcome back to a crafty adventure. Today I am going to make an Easter dress for my doll Lily. I'm making it out of an old sheet and I realized that this is going to be one of the longest videos I have ever put on my channel so I decided to make it in two portions. The first portion is going to be the whole circle skirt and since that pattern actually takes quite a bit of time the that is going to be the first portion and so um, keep watching this video if you'd like to learn how to make a circle skirt and jump over to part two if you'd like to watch how to make the top. Without further ado, let's get into the skirt portion. So I'm going to start with the pattern part of the circle skirt and I will also show you how to make a second layer so it will be double layer. So we need to find the radius of my doll's waist but you can't really do that. So a simple math equation is radius equals circumference divided by 2 pi. So, I, her, my doll's waist is 10.25 inches, and if she were a human, I would add 2 inches, but since she's a doll, I only want to add 1.5 inches, and that would be about 12 inches, so I'm just going to go round up to 12 inches, because it just gives it more ruffle. So. The radius equals 12 over 2 pi, which is 6.28 approximately. So I've done that math, and that is 2 inches. And then I measured from her waist down to her knee, or in her case, I'm going to do midway between her knee and her foot. That's about 6 inches. So 2 plus six, because that's basically just an extension of the radius of her waist. Two plus six equals eight. And I'm doing all of this in inches. So I'm using my ruler. You can use a bigger ruler if you'd like to, but I'm just using this one. I'm going to go from the corner and draw a dot. And then I'm just going to draw two inch dots until I reach the other corner. And I will get back to you when I'm done with this one and the eight inch one up over here. Okay, so I have drawn all of my dots and I'm just going to draw them together. Don't worry if it's not gonna be perfect. So. This is her layer, and we just have to mark where the fold is. And then I want to make a top layer. I want it to be about a two inch difference. So remember when we said that I wanted a six inch extension, two plus six is eight. Now I want a four inch extension. So two plus four equals six. So all I'm going to do is cut out this pattern take another sheet of paper, trace the top, and then do six on the bottom. So I will get back to you when I am done with that. Okay, so now that we have made our two patterns, we are ready to cut it out on our fabric. Now, my fabric is actually an old sheet. It's got this gorgeous ruffle part that I'm going to attempt to make into a collar. It's got this cute little embroidered bead part up here that I'm going to make the smaller layer of the circle skirt with. And then it's just got the regular sheet part that I'm going to make the actual shirt and circle skirt out of. Now, 
to make the little dotted pieces, the circle skirt, um, the smaller layer of the circle skirt, I actually have to do it in two pieces. What you need right now is the two patterns for your circle skirt, marker or pencil, your fabric, a cutting board, and I like to use scissors. You can use a rotary cutter if you like. I just like my dad's scissors. So you're going to want to unfold your fabric. I'm gonna do the big layer first. I like to do this to conserve fabric. Instead of folding it right in half down the center, I like to fold a side piece of it like this. So I'll take my bigger pattern that I'm cutting right now and I fold right about there. Okay, so now that I know that I can make two cir uh, quarter circles, I need to fold it in half again. And as you'll see right here, there are four layers. There's a fold here, and there's a fold here. And the two marked fold edges line up right there. Uh, because the waist has to be the most precise part, I think, because it actually has to fit around the waist, I like to use a marker for that, just to make extra sure that I get it perfect. So now that you've done that, I like to just cut the other piece. I find it the easiest. But when I'm cutting it, I want to make sure that I'm leaving a little bit of seam allowance because I'm going to teach you a really cool trick that makes it easier to make a seam, but you do need a little bit of fabric for it. So you're gonna want to leave about half an inch or about a quarter inch. And all of these little tips that I'm giving you have come from Made Every Day with Dana. I'm gonna find her way of telling you them um, on Made Every Day with Dana circle skirt for any age or the hem circle skirt or she is absolutely awesome all of her videos are awesome they're very helpful she's what started me sewing I'm going to cut out this middle and now we have a circle so now we have one circle I will show you how I'm going to fold this next one since um, it's a different way of folding. Now, this is probably the easiest way because really all you have to do is hem them. So now I want to use this dotted portion to make the top layer. Let's do this. What I'm going to start off with is again, what I like to do of measuring how big it is. I'm gonna fold there. So I folded it in half. And if I just did this, this would get me one half of the circle skirt. But I don't want one half. I want two halves. So I'm going to basically accordion it. We're just going to fold and then fold it one more accordion. So now we have the bottom piece, one fold, and the raw edge We're on this side. And we have two folds on this side, so four layers of fabric. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pattern and on one of the folds, doesn't matter which, you're gonna line it up on the side with two folds. You're gonna put one of the folded corners there and you're just going to trace around this. Like I said, be really careful that the waist is really good but leave a little bit of seam allowance, about the same as you did with the other skirt on this one. I'm going to cut this out and I'll meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, so now that we've cut out all of our pieces, we're going to start on the machine. So I have two half circles of the top layer because I really liked this little fabric. So, what we're gonna do, so, if your fabric has a pattern um, on it, you're gonna lay them uh, fronts facing and you're going to sew them uh, down the sides. Don't forget to do a forward and back stitch at the beginning and the end and I'll get back to you when I have a full circle when both sides are sewn. Okay. So I finished sewing it and it is a circle and it fits like perfectly 
with the other circle. And look how cute it's going to be when we're done. So now I'm going to attempt to show you how to do a sort of easy edge. Take your skirt, put it on your sewing machine, and we're basically just sewing a ring around our circle. Now, I like to make sure this is really even, so I just line it up with the side of my presser foot and I just go all the way around the circle. Okay, so I um, did my whole circle for both skirts. I ironed all of the wrinkles out and then I ironed the hem. I ironed a very small hem all the way around and then I did it again. So now all you have to do is sew that hem in place and you're just going to sew all the way around the circle and then all the way around the other circle. Okay, so I did my whole line around both of the layers. Then I I, I ironed it over, ironed it over again, and then I sewed it all the way around on both sides. So it got a pretty nice even hem, and I was really happy with the way that it looked. So now we're going to do the weird part. Lay your smaller layer down on your table, face up, lay your bigger layer down on the table, face up, line them up however you want them, and so all around that circle, making sure that you have both layers. Okay, so I know that sewing it that way felt totally backwards, in your, but it turns out well, I promise. So, you've got a circle, and facing me is the under part, and facing you is the top part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top part and you're going to stuff it through the circle in the middle. And shake it out. And you have an adorable little skirt. Now, if you were going to make an actual circle skirt out of this, what you would now do is take a piece of elastic and sew it and then gather it onto your skirt and sew it like that. If you'd like to do that, please go over to Made Every Day with Dana, how to make a circle skirt for any age and size, and you will get the whole lowdown and she will probably explain it better than I did. Watch part two for the top of the dress Thank you for watching this video, and make sure to go watch part two if you'd like to see the rest. Bye! Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and videos. Bye!